بسم الله الحمد لله صلاة سلام على رسول الله دمنتين وأن السلام يا سلام عليكم ماشى قولي جا ما أنت وحيوسو سيارتي ولالكي يحيي آدم فارح يا ولا شيء نعمة فارح وحاس سكوة سقبة ولا الله يا إلهي درس يسكج على الله ضل كم مريكا كا يعني قصص جارتين وحي ما أنت جوجان قولي جيجا أم بقولي جيجا أنا جا إياه سعادة فؤاد يا أبط كيجا شنطة أفر أندري سهيب يا ليبان خديجة أحمد يينا كا أدرك وحي شرفت بدن محمد عمر هل كم بود جونا حسوس سود ويني حاس كاس بيم قبضان ويكونا لبضا ورالك أهل معا يو يحيي أو سهيب دقن يو آدن يو قمر انت أسفر ما تنسو زيارتي وحان لأن حيسود ودا وقولي جيني ودد جيني وإهل جيني اللي جعلها وحدها جوكتان وحالك ما انت شرفي أه إن سود ويو آدن أو قلب جوكا و آه داعي مستقبلك إن شاء الله أنا ديارني إنه الإسلام كأن وشقيه إن شاء الله ومركو داعي وقالوا كان غير كيسة أنت كوري سنة داعي سير بدعوة ويريا مركو كان غيرنا الإسلام كحب بري دونا وأنا نفتحنا إنجليش بكسو جزئين دونا تاريخ ذا النبي جا إن هذا دقيستو وأنت تجعينا إن شاء الله تعالى ساس لحظو الله رب العالمين ما تقول بسنين فضل الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I am Adam Farah I was born in Atlanta Georgia and I'm and I am and and I am I am seven years old and And uh, and now I'm in Ottawa, Canada. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was born in Mecca on 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 the fourth Rabi'il Awal. During the Prophet's childhood, he used to be really smart and brave. One day, his mother Amina went to. Went to Medina to see to pray for Abdullah, his, her husband that died a few years ago. When she, well, after some time, he lost her mother. His lost he lost his mother because she died in Medina. The Prophet ﷺ only had his grandfather and uncle left. After some time, when his grandfather took care of him, after two more years, when he was eight years old, his grandfather died in Mecca. Now his uncle Abu Talib, who was a Quraysh, who was the leader of Quraysh, now, now, now took care of him. He was he was not a Muslim, but he did love the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam really much. One time, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was when it was went to Cape Hira when he was forty years old, and then he saw the angel. When he saw the angel, Jibrail alaihi salam, he 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 the angel him the angel. He asked him to read. The Prophet was never schooled, so he said, "I don't know how to read." But then the prophet, but then the, but then the angel hugged the prophet really, really hard that he couldn't even breathe. Then the the angel said, "Read in the name of your Lord who created man out of cloth." When the angel said those words, the prophet repeated them. Then, then the then the angel disappeared in the heavens. Then. The prophet was so scared he he ran he ran all the way home. When he ran all the way home, he write he asked his wife he asked his wife Khadija Rodi Lahu Ta'ala Anhu to wrap him up. 
he was trembling when, when he said that. Then Khadija covered him with a towel or a blanket. And then, until, until his fears were gone. When his fears were gone, she, she went to her old, old cousin, Wawra bin, bin Nofa. Then she, she told him about the issues of his, of her husband. Then, when she, Wawra bin, bin Nofa was, was old at that time, and he was a follower of Prophet Isa Islam, or known as Jesus in English. The Prophet وسلم, lived his life in trials. And, the, and, and first, the Muslims were, were, to, were the Muslims were torturing by, by, by all by all the Quraysh. All the rich Quraysh were torturing the Muslims, killing the Muslims. The Muslim, many of the Muslims were dying. And then when the Prophet saw that situation, he was sad. Then, there were many trials in his life, including the battle of Badr and Ahad. And at the end of his life, the Prophet died when he was 63. One of the Quraysh, which was Abu Sufyan, also became Muslim during Muhammad's oldness.